peace of Christ to all uh, this is just this, this video to answer some Muslims about uh, you know they made a comment as usual Muslims always they are unhappy people uh, but this is a very important uh, video too I want you to listen carefully for the Muslim answer and to my response it's very 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 important uh, I did talk in the last video about the, the word al baith and I said al baith mean the uh, resurrection the Muslims uh, who came to the uh, uh, my page he said no al baith doesn't mean the resurrection uh, it means the resurrector the resurrector by the way as a language he is not wrong by a language he is not wrong but if the resurrector is not the same as the resurrection this is mean your God is not a resurrection and actually this is what he said but let us see what that is going to do for the God of Islam this is Wissam he's saying Al-Ba'ith mean the resurrector not the resurrection he is playing with the word in Arabic a short a or a long a change or the ch change the meaning uh, big, uh, 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 biggest liar in YouTube you know the Muslims when they answer they answer with their foolishness do you know why you know for me when I say uh, the resurrection is the same as the resurrector because supposedly who is the one who can resurrect people from death except the one who have the resurrection and who is the one who have the resurrection is the resurrector <laughs> because you cannot give what you don't have you cannot give what you cannot do even to yourself can you resurrect yourself if you die if you can it's mean you are a resurrector and you are a resurrection because you have it already which means you cannot lose death you have no fear from death death is mean nothing to you because you are the resurrection now not, you know in this in, in this story in here when the Muslims they say to us that Allah is the resurrector not the resurrection what does that mean I will tell you what does that mean it's mean he is denying that his God is God somebody will tell me but you just say that the resurrector he is the same as the resurrection because you cannot give what you don't have absolutely if you don't have it you cannot give it but when a Muslim he said to me he is the resurrector I need to go and look in his book and see if there is more than one resurrector in his book actually there is many Jesus himself is a resurrector in the Quran but this time I will not go to Jesus why because I want to show you how Allah himself do resurrection Jesus he said to a man rise from death he raised do Allah do the same no how Allah raised people from death and remember now he is just a resurrector which means he is just the same as someone he was given authority he is just doing a job like you know what I gave you an authority to go and to do something so when you do it simply I am the one is giving you the power it's not your power because you don't have the authority which means without my authority you cannot do such a thing so the Muslims now agree that Allah is just a resurrector not the resurrection which means he do not have the power he have the authority he is the one who do the job he is the same as an angel when he came to Mary and he made Mary pregnant according to Muslims so he have the authority to do that because angels cannot do creation according to Islam right suddenly the angels can create because if you ask Muslims how Jesus came to earth they will say angel he made her pregnant which means he created Jesus an angel became a creator in Islam how he put his mouth in her private part and by the way the Quran doesn't say it was an angel it was you know it's saying Ruhuna which mean uh, 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 
the soul of Allah. But anyway, this is a different topic. So in here, if Allah is not the resurrection, He is just the resurrector, we will go and see in the Quran who and how you can be a resurrector. And I will teach you a secret so all of you, you can be a resurrector, a resurrector according to Islam. And not only that, I will show you how Allah will resurrect Muslims at the, at the judgment day. You will hear the most funny story ever in your life. This is Surah 2, verse number 73. And this is a story about Moses. Moses, you know, he's a prophet, but at the same time he is a judge for his people. So, you know, he have to do something if there is a crime. So somebody was killed. They didn't know who's the killer. Moses decided to know who was the killer, to do justice. Do you know what he did? He ordered them to kill a cow and cut the tail and the cow, the tail of the cow and the tongue of the cow and the leg of the cow and beat the man, the dead man, with that. And he told them, beat the man with this and he will raise from death. And he did. And the man came back to life, as you see, and he said to them, who, who is the one who killed him? Do you see it? And after he did, point, like he told them, this is my cousin who killed me, he went back to death and he died. So Moses in there is a resurrector. And you will see in here that Moses is equal to Allah. Do you know why? I will show you why. Because the chapter in here is saying that if you do, this is the way even Allah, He will raise people from death. This is the way Allah will raise people from death, which means Moses, He did beat the man with the, with the tail of the cow to raise him from death. Allah will beat the Muslims with the tail of the cow to raise them from death, which means Allah cannot raise them by saying a word. He have to play magic. A, a tongue of a cow, a tail of a cow. By the way, this is why the surah, the chapter 2, the cow surah called the cow surah. Mm, cow, you know? We have a zoo in the Quran. Spider, elephant surah, uh, ant surah, bee surah. Now this is the cow surah. So, Musa is saying to you in here, that this is how Allah himself, he will raise people from death. Which means Allah, he cannot raise people from death unless he have a tail of a cow and a tongue of, some, of a cow and he will beat you with the tail and he will beat you the, with, with, with the tongue. So Moses and Allah are equal in here because both of them, they will raise people from death in the same way. As you see, this is the official government website of Saudi Arabia, chapter 2, verse number 73. He said to them, strike the body with pieces of the uh, heifer, you know, the cow. Thus Allah brings the death, the dead to life. So how Allah bring the dead to life, this is the translation by the way. In Arabic it says, كَذَلِكَ يُحْيِي اللَّهُ الْمَوْتَى Beat them like that, because this is how Allah, He raised people from death. This is mean, Moses and Allah, they are equal in their way in how to raise death. Which means Allah is not giving authority to Moses. Because ask yourself, do you really God? Do you think God need to beat you with tail of a cow so you were raised from death? I am sure after we publish this video, the price of a tail of a cow will go crazy. Because everybody want to stay alive. Keep a tail of a cow in your house, and when you die, tell your wife to beat you with it. And that's it. Hello? Learn medicine. The magic of Allah is a tail of a cow and the tongue of a cow. So Allah will raise you from death by this way, which means Allah is not the resurrection. Thank you, Muslims. You agreed now that your God is not God, because if your God is God, He do not need to do a stupid thing to raise somebody from death. He will say to him, raise, and he will raise. He do not need to, pe to beat somebody by a tail. And I want to ask Muslims, even when Moses he did that, from where Moses he got this story? From where he got the idea? Isn't it amazing? So in here, you know, when we see uh, uh, somebody saying to us that 
by beating somebody with the tail of a cow simply is telling us how you can raise people from death he is telling us a method and a way to do resurrection and if Allah do the same and a Musa is doing the same this is proven to me that those stories cannot be true this is a fool lie about you know raising people from death by, 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 by a tail of a cow the real God do not need a tail of a cow I'm glad he did not say the tail of a pig or the tail of a dog so I hope I did answer you Mr. Muslim your God Allah is not God according to your words and I hope you learn something today Jesus is Lord Islam is false I mean